Yo, yo, Red Fam, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new episode of. It's not gonna be a series. I mean, it could be a series if you guys wanted to. If this episode gets 20 likes, then I'll do it with another team. But you guys can see it by the title and thumbnail. This is the No Trade Challenge. I'm pretty sure this has been done before. I'm 100% sure it has been done before. But what, what this is gonna be like is basically, I have to win the World Series with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, without making a single trade so we're gonna have to rely on our farm system we're gonna have to rely on some of these young stars like um, Jorge Polanco uh, Sano to come up and do good um, scope you know Barrios to be a baller you know we're gonna have to rely on these guys to kind of carry us over to the World Series so winning the World Series no trading whatsoever just legitimately winning a World Series with our farm system and seeing how well that they can be and how well they can do. We have Alex Kirilov. We got Royce Lewis. I completely forgot about them. Um, so we have some prospects. We have Greaterall as well. We have a we have three we have three prospects. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all ranked as well. Um, we have. Let's see. Where is our prospect? That I believe. I don't know if I pa I probably passed him to be honest. Uh, there we go. Royce Lewis is uh twenty fifth. So. Yeah, we have some prospects in this squad, and the reason why I chose the Twins because I didn't want it to make, uh, I didn't want it to be hard to do, and I didn't want it wanted to make uh, make it as easy. So I could have just chosen the 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 freaking Dodgers won the World Series. That's it. I wanted to make it a little bit more challenging, and that's why I chose the Twins because the Twins are a mixture of a really really balanced team. You got power, you have some, uh, you know, you have some guys that can definitely produce, like Eddie Rosario, Sano. Uh, Crone scope, you know, so we have guys here. We have guys to, de to definitely uh, Take us to the promised land and see if we can actually win a world series because I am hopeful that we can um, but Yeah, let's get this started man. We're gonna leave the lineup the same way it is Maybe we'll 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 check in in a, in a few uh, few months time check how we're doing and uh, we're definitely gonna have some gameplay this because just simulating everything is gonna be kind of weird so yeah we're gonna be adding some gameplay and stuff like that so that way it's not just me just simulating stuff like that but yeah this should be very interesting i do expect this to be a failure in season one i i, I don't oh, i forgot to turn up god damn it but yeah i truly expect a team like the twins to do very good uh we're not having we're not off to the best of starts on obviously and this is it i mean this is the point of the the you know the challenge portion in it it is going to be very challenging and also I made it a little bit hard on myself too because I could easily just go ahead and you know in the off season pick up a bunch of guys and then boom challenge is done. No, I'm going to limit myself to just picking up three uh, free agents every every year. Only three. I can only pick up three free agents. I cannot just sign a whole bunch of free agents and then you know just call it there. No, I can only sign three free agents and honestly. I'm down with that. I literally just made that rule up right now, but hey, I kind of just want to look at the stats real quick. I don't want really you want to take too much time in this. Uh, I do just want to take it. Wow. Uh, why is Marlon Gonzalez in the bench? This guy is legitimately hitting over 350 and he is on the bench. Can somebody explain to me why this guy's on the bench? Uh, can we put him in at first? I'm pretty sure this, this guy can play everywhere. Marlon Gonzalez is a good player in franchise. He can play anywhere. If only he was a little bit younger, he would be okay. But oh, I didn't even look at the stats. Wow, I literally just went into the lineup and did not look at the stats. Kepler, good night. We got Hori Polanco, who I'm relying on on Hori Polanco a lot for him to do good. Um, we got Nelson Cruz still balling out at 28 years old. Eddie Rosario out off to a very very bad start to the season, average wise. Will definitely come up though. We got Miguel Sano, pretty decent. Obviously, Gonzalez is balling the fuck out as well as Scope. And uh, Byron Buxton, not a big home run guy, but pretty, pretty decent average to have. And then our catcher is kind of struggling. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's all I could really just say is just, yeah. You know, I want to check on on the roster real quick. I want to check on how everybody's doing. I want to check how Royce and uh, Alex are doing. Royce is actually not doing too bad. Uh, 11 home runs at uh, 19 years old. That's actually really interesting. And then Kirilov. It is off to a very uh very weak start uh but like i said i don't really stress too much these guys because they could develop in three years time they'll probably be with us in the big league so 
that's all good and it's all dandy. That bro, Dakota Chalmers actually is having a really good season. So with this challenge, you're really gonna have to rely on your <laughs> you're gonna have to rely on your farm system to develop very very really well because you're not gonna be able to make any trades. We can't make any trades. Our only options would be to pick up in uh, in the off season. But we can only pick up three guys, and also we can only pick up three guys. And if those offers don't land. That's it. We can't really pick anybody up. So we're going to have to make sure that these guys sign for us and make sure that they can help us out because we're off to a very bad start. So I guess now we can go ahead and go to a critical situation if we do get one. Um, if not, then we'll see the end of the season. All right. So we actually have one right here, a critical situation with a pitcher. Of course, has to be a pitcher pitching situation and we got a one run lead to protect we got to close that out with harper and we got stanton at the plate with judge in at third oh, this this is just setting me up for failure isn't it all right we basically have to defeat thanos for us to get out of this game alive i i, I don't know why i caught every player that's big thanos uh, that really has to stop so yeah whatever uh we managed to beat him with that fastball there that's a very good sign that he is uh, not on top of his stuff uh, we can just locate with Harper. I think he's a rookie as well. He's a rookie in our squad. So, yeah, the young rook can get through this. Oh, my. We just gave him a freaking platter. We gave Giancarlo a platter right there. But let's throw him a high fastball. He could not keep up with the last one. And that's not what I wanted to do. Um, Can we talk? Can we toss him a curveball? Let's toss. Oh, ho, ho. damn it, man. I would much rather a walk, though, than a hit. So we're fine. Let's go. That fastball is pretty well located, to be honest. Uh, by the way, in the last episode, the last two episodes that I posted, my <laughs> my mic was sounding a little bit off. Um, thank uh, thank you to Gomes for for uh, pulling that out for me because literally as soon as I pointed it out, he uh, he DM me about it and he told me that is there something weird with the mic. And let's go, baby. We're gonna close out this game and pick up the W, man. Thank God. But uh, yeah, my mic was kind of weird in the last co uh, couple videos, and it's because I had my compressor on, uh, the settings that I was messing with it on uh, OBS, and I accidentally left it on. And that's why it sounded pretty weird. Hopefully it doesn't sound weird now. Hopefully it sounds really good, or at least better than what it did before. But uh, a rookie mistake. But yeah, speaking of rookie, Brian Harper with the save there. We come through and win this game. That's what I like to see, man. Yeah, we've actually been getting a lot of trade offers. Um, it's quite something to accept a trade, but it's the no trade challenge. We cannot accept a trade. I'm pretty sure I've emphasized that pretty well, or at least I hope I did. Triple uh, A does not do anything good, and then our Double A actually do make their division. They win their division. We're taking out the Jumbo Shrimps. Hey, shout out to the Marlins, and uh, we get eliminated. All right, no, oh, well that's that kind of sucks. And there we have it, folks. The current Twins lineup, Twins roster, wins just 67 games and loses 95 games. I don't think that's realistic at all, to be honest. This team's actually balling out of control right now. But it's quite sad that it's had to go like this. But let's check on the season ending stats and see who did well, who didn't do good, and just kind of, you know, evaluate that. Um, Marvin Gonzalez had himself an impressive season. With, wow, that is, look at that stat line. Isn't that just one of the most satisfying things in the world? F exactly 400 at-bats, 20 home runs, 60 RBIs, and then just a 300 average, just clean 300. That is satisfying to see. I really hope Nelson Cruz stays. I don't think he's going to stay. Uh, his power has increased a lot, and so has uh, his contact and vision. So I think it'll be a couple years before Cruz retires. Maybe this year he might retire. But yeah. Uh, Eddie Rosario did not have the best of season. I guess he started heating up a little bit, uh, a little bit at towards the end, but could not get anything done. And then our last, you know, our final guys did not do anything. Mitch Garver did get better though. Mitch Garver did get better. 283. He picked up his slack and actually did pretty good. And um, yeah, we got the Tortuga as well that we can actually use. He can play first, second, third, and anywhere in the office. So we're definitely gonna use La Tortuga, and we're over, we're obviously gonna he's gonna be. A, a cornerstone piece for us to win the World Series. And in regards to our pitching staff, I cannot say anything good about these guys at all. I mean, holy shit. Like, what is even, what is even this? What is even happening here, man? I, we're going to have to see what pitches we want to acquire. Obviously, we're going to go in and try to see if we could pick up Will, uh, Will Smith. Will Smith, obviously, a very, very good player. 
Uh, we'll give him a player option. Uh, see if we give him a good contract. See if he will accept it. Uh, should be no problem with that. Yeah, like I said, we only have three chances to pick up any free agents. Only three. Because I could easily just ball out and pick up a whole bunch. But I'm only going to use my opportunity on three players. And that is it. Three players and I am out. I can no longer sign anybody else if I have uh, three players. Or if I sign, if I if I send out three contracts. So three contracts, that's it. And that is what uh, that's how the cookie is going to crumble. So I don't know who to pick up, to be honest with you guys. Um, I could probably send a, a deal out for Corey Dickerson. Uh, Corey Dickerson might be a really good option. Do we have a good, any uh, outfield, any health? Kepler. And then, actually, no. Our, our, our outfield can definitely mold to something great. So we'll, we'll pass on the outfield. We might need help on is the infield, and that's where we're gonna offer the big man, uh, Mike Moose. We're gonna offer Moose a, a pretty good contract. We give him a player option, everyday player. Uh, yeah, just a really good contract to Moose, cause I really, really want Moose to come to the, come to us and uh, become a goat. We're gonna offer Jorge Abreu, and that's gonna be our final, final contract to to offer out. Hopefully, we'll pick him up, man. Hopefully we'll be fine with that. We'll give him a player option, everyday player. He'll be a star player actually. Um, 33 years old, kind of risky offering someone that's 33 when I could probably use some pitching help. Um, and I literally just realized that. And oh no, we offered that contract. We offered to Musa. Okay, yeah, so we're fine. We're fine with giving a contract. I didn't want to break my own rule. You feel me? I I, I want to keep this as as legit as possible. A two year with a player deal. We'll offer that. And yeah, let's see if they accept. And there we go. We log up our first free agent in uh, Will Smith. That's one of our free agents that we've uh, sent a contract to. Will Harris goes to the Dodgers. No words yet on Abreu and uh, Mustakas. There we go. We yeah, there, there we go. There we go. We pick up Abreu. We pick up Mustakas. Nice. Okay, beautiful. Um, second base. I did not think this through. Um, wow. Okay. Well, where can Mustakas play? He can play first and third. We can put him at third for Sano. Identical stats actually, identical average. And then Abreu, he can only play first, which is a big problem because uh, actually that won't be a problem because Marvin can play anywhere in the infield. So, all right, so we're back now. 2020 season, destined for something great. You guys already seen the lineup. You guys seen how everything goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a cruise already down to 70, uh, 78 overall. Very concerning considering that. um yeah con considering that i i he <laughs> i really want to do good but with that uh that overall going down very fast it's gonna be quite difficult too so yeah jorge uh jorge wow jose barrios is projected to be an 89 overall this season so hopefully he can prove himself out there because we had a very shitty uh, um a very shitty spring training i didn't even want to show you guys how bad that was but it was pretty bad it was pretty bad. So hopefully he could come through. I want to ch check real quick. All right. Royce Lewis is now in 19. And then I think, uh, where is this guy? Where's, um, Kirilov? Kirilov. Well, Greater Rose higher than Kirilov. All right. Is Kirilov even a top prospect? He's not even a top prospect anymore. Okay. Wow. Kirilov is, uh, um, has a lot of proof. Apparently he has a lot to prove, which is fine, which is fine. Um, we'll see how everything goes. I believe they're kind of, they're still kind of in a high overall. Um, Chargo is going to be in the big league squad. I really forgot. I forgot about the rule five. Disregard the rule five. It doesn't conclude as a trade. So let's get back to it, folks. Let's see if we can pick up the trophy this season with this. Oh, God. Who am I kidding? All right. So it's pretty safe to say that our pitching staff is utterly shit. That's something we can say for sure. The twins pitching staff is disgustingly bad. At least in this game. I don't want to hurt any twins fan out there. I know in real life, you guys are probably goons. Uh, we do have the fourth pick, though. That's actually really good. We have the fourth pick in the draft. Um, let's see. 18 years old. 70 overall at 18 years old. I mean, 19 years old. Closer, Diego Garcia. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, my God. A 99 overall potential. I have never seen a 99 overall potential out of a draft. I mean, he's a closer, 74 overall, 18 years old. I mean, what the hell? Can this guy become, He, bro, he might be the, our future closer, bro. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so we are now uh, in the All-Star Week. We are currently 10 games behind the White Sox. Wow, the White Sox in first place. Kind of, I did, well, I did kind of see it coming. They, they're they kind of up and coming a little bit, but we're 10 games back from the White Sox. And uh, still, same old story from last season. We do have a couple injuries here. Um, kind of sad to see, but let's take a look at the lineup. Let's take a look at some of the guys that we, well, well damn, Cruz. We got a Jorge Polanco batting leadoff, uh, 203 average. Well, what the hell's going on here? Uh, everyone is shit in the bed. Everyone's shit in the bed besides a 39 year old Nelson Cruz. Who would have thought? I mean, everyone's doing horrible. And our all star was actually Mitch Garver this season. This is Mitch Garver is having himself a really, really good season, and he's he has literally no help coming in from uh from his teammates. What the hell? And we'll take a look at the pitching staff. And wow, I'm actually pretty surprised that Barry was actually doing pretty good. Four and six to three seven three. Uh, and then I can't say the same about the rest of the the, the starting rotation. But lineup, I mean the bullpen, I should say. Um. Uh, I mean, Chargo, our, our, our Rule 5 guy is literally fucking us up, but not too bad. It's just the offense is not producing. It's actually not that bad. Uh, I do want to see if Greg, um, let me see, if, if uh, Diego Garcia, I really want to keep an eye on this guy. I really do want to keep an eye on this guy because, holy shit, this guy is freaking elite. Like, I really hope he comes through. I'm pretty sure when he turns 19, he should be able to pop up here, but... Dude, he's going to be insane when he comes up. I really hope he does good. But, yeah. Uh, I guess we could take a look at the stand. Well, we did look at the standings. Uh, not much to look at. I guess we'll take a look at um at the prospect list and see where everyone else is at. Uh, Kirilov is now in uh, 29th, which is what I'd like to see. Where is... uh Where's Royce Lewis? Okay, he's actually number five. Well, I really pa I passed by him. I did not expect him to be that high, actually. He's the fifth best prospect in the big leagues. Uh, we'll take a look at their stats for the season. Royce Lewis, not really off to a hot start. And then Kirilov is actually not doing too bad. So it's definitely the other way around, especially from last season. Uh, I do expect... I'm gonna. I'm probably going to call up Royce Lewis over to uh, AAA this season. But we'll see what happens, man. But yeah, we're about 20-something games out of 500. Let's see what kind of magical run that we can go into before the season ends because I am um, this challenge is very challenging. So we're now approaching the end of the season. We actually won 74 games this season. 88 losses. Um definitely not the right amount of wins, uh improved wins that I would expect from us, but hey, there's not much I can really do about this. So yeah, we can't do any trades, so what the hell is even you know, whatever, but Brian Bluxton's up to a uh, 85 overall. Actually, that's actually really good because he's pretty young too. So he's definitely part of that young core that I expect to come up and do good. Uh, Polanco, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, no one really had a good season, uh, to be honest. You know, some home runs. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Marvin Gonzalez, 250 uh, season from him. Uh, he didn't He didn't have a full average season, so... Man, Eddie Rosario is shitting the bed for us. I mean, he is shitting on the bed right now. And then Mitch Garver, our MVP from the, from this season. Well, yeah, basically our team MVP definitely goes to Mitch Garver. And he uh, he was our all-star this year, so congratulations. But other than that, there's not been anything crazy to be going. You know, there's there, there's nothing here. Really, there's, there, there's, there's nothing. Nelson Cruz down to 70, 68 overall. I mean, it's it's time, big fella. But we'll take a look at the pitching staff. Burial with a pretty pretty good season from him, pretty decent season, and the rest of the. I mean, wow. Okay, wait a minute. Fernando Romero did not have a bad season. Eight and four with a three seven eight. I think an ERA at that uh, that ERA is actually not that bad. So, I'm actually very very surprised. And then our bullpen, Trevor Mays, with the, definitely an opposite season from last season. A uh, very very good season he turned in this year. And then the red, the you know the rest of the bullpen's there, but yeah, yeah, that's that's all I can really say. Oh, and Kyle Gibson was actually doing really well for us too. So yeah, yes, yeah, the biggest thing I can say. Will Smith actually uh, led the league in saves, so congratulations to him. And then Royce Lewis, he is currently eighth now. Okay, yeah, nice. And I think honestly, I'm gonna deal with it in another episode. If you guys want another episode, but so far I consider this challenge. A fail 
We have not completed the challenge. Uh, if you guys want to see another episode, I can definitely get that done for you guys. If you guys want to see it, um, it's you know it's a pretty cool idea. I mean, in my opinion, it's a pretty cool idea, but it's very very difficult. So you guys can actually try it yourselves, see if you can win a World Series with a team that's not too good but not too bad at the same time. The Twins. You have you know I I don't know. You have the White Sox. I I guess the Padres can be a pretty good team for you. Um to to do that challenge with but yeah that's gonna be be it for me folks challenge failed so far but we can definitely definitely try harder next time and see if we can pick up a w and the world series with the twins but yeah it's been your boy rezzy hopefully you guys enjoy make sure to leave a like and also drop a sub we're closing in on two we're like less than five subs away or five sub you know we're less than five subs away from 2000 so hopefully we can reach it this week but folks thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace